There are a lot of people that can. But if you're new to this craft, I strongly encourage you to try this because you're going to progress and improve a whole lot faster by doing this. Okay, so what we've done is we, we went ahead and before we taped the back of this, we went ahead and pushed all the stretch out of it that we could get this way because leather grows when you add water and hammer and all of that. So we've slicked it up, we've lubricated it. We're gonna allow that moisture to work on down where it needs to be. Now we're gonna work on the backside. So this, I can't remember what this tape is called. My buddy Mark, uh, sent me this. Showed up in the mail one day. And dude, let me tell you, this is a blessing in disguise. This is the best stuff. It's expensive. But this is the best stuff for tooling I have ever seen in my entire life. Absolutely, you can beat plumb through the leather. I've done it. Knock holes plumb through the leather. You're not going to get any stretch. And it'll peel right off. It just peels off just as crazy as I'll get out. Now, since this is so expensive, here's what I'm doing. I'm gonna put a layer, single layer. Now I have normally, I'm gonna put three layers across this, but and I have been using all this, but the price is just not justified. Unless you got a, just an extremely huge commission piece and you're working on top end leather, it would be hard to justify this three or four layers. Gaffer tape. I picked some up. What do you think about it, man? Do you, have you tried it yet? Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to put one layer down. Okay? Now, I'm going to go to the cheap stuff. If I can... <laughs> what did I do with it? No, man! Uh-oh. Rot row. No, run away. Okay, well, hockey poo-poo. Gremlins have come. My beautiful wife, did you borrow my packing tape? Have you seen my packing tape? Maybe it's... Nope, it's not down in there. These stupid gremlins, I'll tell you, man. Let me look up up there. No, no, it's probably right in front of me. It is a clear tape. You know what I'm saying? Let me look down here. It's not in that drawer. It's not in that drawer. It's got to be under the tools. And it is not. Hmm. Well, hey man, let's get on this Sheridan steampunk and do some carving. Well, you know, I used it the other night um, when I taped off the Sheridan steampunk, so we know we've had it. It's my fault. I know I did something with it. The only problem is... I don't know what I did, and I don't want to take the blame, so I'm going to have to blame somebody. Hmm, how interesting is that? Let me look around here, just a minute. Hey, Steph, you know you did do some cleaning, my love. She didn't touch it. Of course not. She never touched it. I need to blame somebody. It's probably my fault, but you know I don't like to take the blame. All right. Man, how do you lose a roll of tape that size? I have no idea. So, normally, what we would do, oh, we done lost a couple folks. They come and they go. 
They come and they go. They probably say, man, this guy's so freaking redneck, I'll have a headache time I get through listening to him. Okay, they, we're just going to fold these over so they don't keep sticking to us. So tonight we're going to use blue tape. Normally what I do is use my clear packing tape on this right here. But this blue, I think it provides us enough resistance. So the reason I'm using the uh, gaffer tape is because it peels so easy. I mean, it's if you use blue tape, you're going to spend three hours trying to get this mess off. Um, if you use blue tape directly to the leather, it is an absolute nightmare, okay? So what I'm doing is putting the gaffer tape down, and then I'm going to lay this or clear tape over the top of it. That clear packing tape is lightweight. It's a little slick. It will slide around on the table with you a little bit, but it holds that, that leather because we're fixing to beat the crap out of this. And it's going to move, I promise you. Uh-oh. And uh, I guess I need to check my multi -screen. Hold on, let me make sure this Facebook's not, hadn't said anything. I didn't want to miss anybody. No sense in being scared, Will, that's true. I don't know how you stocked up on your uh, essentials. Where in the world did you find essentials at? All right, so we're doing this. What about Mr. Sauce? Is he back yet? I mean, not Sauce. I know Sauce is here. What about Mr. Mars? Mars, you here, bud? So once we get this done, that's going to hold it because we're going to beat this and we're going to mash it and move it and we're going to stretch it. And you want to get the habit of using this because if you have set patterns and your carving takes place in the back end of the project, on a high end project, and you're, it stretches and distorts and creates problems, then you got a problem. This right here is going to help reduce that. Uh, a lot of people don't do all this. They just deal with it. They understand what's what, and they've made adjustments, and they just go. But if you're new to the industry, I encourage you to do this because... You don't have to, once you've done this, you don't have to worry about as much and deal as much with your stretch and your flex and all that. You can focus on the tooling, the job at hand, and uh, the looks of things. So there's nothing worse than putting... 30, 40 hours into something, or 5 or 10 hours into something, just to find out you beat the snot out of it and you can't use it. Alright, so we got that done. We're slicked. Ooh, nice and slick. You see it's kind of got a little sheen to it. It's holding that moisture, okay? We've wet this down. It's been 10 minutes. we got all kinds of lights in here and we should be drying out. And it's just now starting to come to color right here, so it's good. Should really be easy. We shouldn't have to worry about the hips and valleys. Um, let me pull out some stick pins. Is everybody still there? Man, I lost everybody. Who all did I run off? Come back.
yeah you can see right here here's a good example um, of how much push we got out of this this is awesome so I'll be able to show you lead by example here so you guys won't think I'm being goofy or anything yes sir thanks for being here buddy lurking and working that's pretty cool All right, so gremlins run off with a pencil. Here we go. Um, one thing that a thumbtack works really, really good. I don't know if you guys can see this right here, but it's it's in my way. See, I've got to work around it. So if you got a thumbtack, a small thumbtack, replace that. Push that down. It's out of your way. It'll still hold. It's easy to get everything into. Now, I will probably forget, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you now. Um, once I take this page off, in case I don't bring it to your attention, I want you to look at the, the cut line, which is what I'm working on now, and the cut line before I taped it off. And you'll see how much stretch I got out of that uh, leather just by slicking it. I got quiet, sorry, I'm focused here. My wife's running my commercial in the background there. I was listening to myself to see if I sound silly. Man, I redid that. I think I was close to 40 tries before I got down to that one. I messed it up so much. And then I, I, I actually had it and it was going good. I was just fixing to wrap it up and here comes Steph. She comes walking and says, hey Tab, your daddy, wants to know this <laughs> I was like dang man so I just turned it off and and uh, answered her question I didn't get mad I thought it was kind of funny so it was after that it was about 10 tries and we got it right again or well we got it right we got it to what you see right now and I don't know if it's actually because I was satisfied or just started jacking with it you know Um, all right, um, yeah, it's on Facebook and it's on YouTube. I put it on my YouTube channel, um, and I don't know if I changed, I think I changed the work to T, uh, man, I don't, I, I don't remember what my YouTube, it's either, uh, Leatherwood and Metal or it's Tabo Mori. Um, I'm not sure which one the uh, YouTube is. That's something I'm, I'm new to. I know there's something right here I got to do. Sharpen this bloomer pencil. It's T. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to change the name. I guess I need to Probably be best to change that name to Leather, Wood, and Metal, wouldn't it? Yeah. 
I've got a lot of subscribers over there, but I didn't, um, I say a lot, a lot to me, that I was trying to, to pull over here. But I, I was, you know, I just thought, well, if I change that, are they going to know who I am, you know? Of course, this voice, you probably won't ever be able to mistake this voice. Those of you that watch my stream probably see me out in the world. See that right there sticking? i got to figure that out. Right there. Hang on. Time out. i got to fix this. It keeps sticking to my hand. It's going to mess things up. Yeah, there's people who haven't seen me in 20 years, and as soon as I start talking, they know who I am. It's probably all this silly redneck pronunciation I do. See that right there? If I can pull that off, that's going to look pretty cool, I think. I think. See, that's going to be too deep. There's no way I can pull off that detail, I don't think. Ah, oh, man. All right, so we need to drop this in here. That right there. So that one's going to go underneath. That right there. Yeah, I was hoping Mr. Mars would be back. I was wanting him to see those uh, tips I had for him. That was primarily for him or anybody that's new. I hope you found that useful. You know, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent to try to explain my thinking. That way you can call BS or, you know decide to take it as something useful. See that right there? That's going to be so wrong. But I'm thinking that's going to give it kind of that steampunk look. Just a little bit out of perfect, you know what I mean? I'm thinking that that could be something useful. Bill, did you guys get anything done today? I hope this isn't like watching paint dry. Seeing me do this. I'll tell you what, though. I don't like... I think I'm going to... Uh, hide this tracing paper. I'm not really digging. Does anybody ever have any trouble with it? It just kind of... I've pushed through it a couple times. I don't think it's for me. Alright, I think I need to put this one here.
Oh, okay. Well, that's good that you're going to get to work from home. Working from home would be a really bad thing for me. Because I would not get anything done. As soon as I would, I'd sit there a minute and know, you know, I'm at home. I could do this. I could do that. You know, we could play World of Warcraft a minute. Before you know it, the whole stinking day has gone. And I can't lie about it. So when they ask me, would you do anything? I'm like, yeah, I played World of Warcraft. right here I think is going to be a boot. If I can figure these gears out, this will be pretty cool, I think. I think. And we're not going to expect a whole lot out of this one because it's the first one, right? So, failure's okay. Got to learn a few things. I need back my tracing paper, the packing tape, yes, so I don't push through. You know, that's what I did with this, uh, Jeremy, but I'm not sure why, but I'm using this, this pencil right here is a little bit harder, I guess, uh, and I sharpened it. That, that could very well be why uh, it's, it's pushing through, I guess. Yeah, I put the packing tape on, so I don't know. But the packing tape is an awesome idea. And the blue tape works pretty good for backing. Um, oops, I need that to go right there. Jeremy, what about a, a picture of that uh, after it's old? Now, are you through with that carving of the uh, that that last leather work that you did, or have you still got some more work on it? Hey, Mr. Will, how about you post up some stuff here so we can see, everybody can see you work, man. Will may not even be here. You still here, Will? Oops, that needed to be in. Just, I bet you that swivel knife will follow that one right there instead of the one I need it to follow. Every stinking time. Anybody else have that trouble?
Oh, I got you. Man, you gonna tool you up some of this Sheridan Steampunk we're working on here? I'm gonna have all you guys tooling Sheridan before long. It's actually a good time, man. You'll like it. I think this one was actually supposed to duck. Yeah, it was. Stops right there. I'm gonna carry this one a little bit deeper, I think. Alright, so as best I can tell, I have one gear left. <laughs> 